pain isn't always obvious. Every day, friends, family, and coworkers may be struggling with physical and or emotional pain. And for some, it's too difficult to talk about the pain, thoughts of suicide, and the need for help. Sometimes, warning signs are subtle. By recognizing these signs, knowing how to start a conversation, and where to turn for help, we have the ability to make a difference. And that ability could be the support to help save a life. That's why today we're discussing suicide prevention. Hello all, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. I am Johannes, your on-site life coach. September is Mental Health Awareness Month. Although it's great to raise awareness about mental health in September, we want to remind everyone that mental health awareness is something we recommend focusing on year round. Here are three suggestions about suicide prevention. One suggestion about suicide prevention is how to start a conversation. Talking to someone about suicide can feel awkward and uncomfortable, but if you have concerns, breaking through your own discomfort could save a life. Showing your concern and directly asking about suicidal thoughts can be vital first steps in helping someone get the support they need. It's also important to be sensitive to the need for privacy by approaching and talking in a private setting. Another suggestion is to provide support and information. You are not alone in helping someone in crisis. There are many resources available to assess, treat, and intervene. Crisis lines, counselors, intervention programs, and more are available to you as well as the person experiencing the crisis. Help connect them with professional help even if they resist. You can provide support by connecting a person with an EAP crisis counselor, speaking to someone they trust, and recognizing the value of seeing a mental health professional can help to ensure their safety. The last suggestion is to take action and contact emergency services. A person who has reached a point where suicide is an option often does not believe they can be helped. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, call 911, connect them with a crisis counselor through the EAP, and if at work, alert a manager for immediate support. Experiencing thoughts of suicide, self-harm is very distressing. If you are considering these options, please, Contact your local emergency services immediately to ensure your safety. Talking about how you are feeling could alleviate some of your stress. Everyone faces situations we might consider hopeless in the moment. For many, situations arise such as unexpected death of a loved one, the end of a relationship, loss of a job, and many others that present a great amount of stress and lead to depression. How we handle that stress and depression is very important. If you have contemplated or believe that someone you know is contemplating taking their own life, it is important to seek professional help. That support may help prevent a tragedy and help someone overcome a crisis. few announcements and reminders for you guys. We have some exciting events coming up for our employees, so make sure to check out your wellness boards and wellness website for more details. 
We have our Financial Friday segment on Know Your CTA 457 and 401k plan tomorrow, Friday, September 27th at 12 p.m. Coach Travis is hosting a live workout session on Core and More on Monday, September 30th at 12 p.m. The Breast Cancer Walk is on Saturday, October 5th at Soldier Field at 10 a.m. The registration to receive swag has ended, but there's still time to register to participate and donate in support of this much needed cause, if you register today. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time.